The CDC says one of five children and teenagers are considered obese. Plus, the research shows your outlook on life could impact your cognitive health. Dr. Mike is joining us now with details on both of these uh, big topics in the health world. Dr. Mike, good morning to you. Well, hello there, Terrence. I was hoping that, that I could talk to you before the holiday. I want to wish you a, a wonderful holiday, man. I love you. Same to you as you well. Uh, we, let's get right into this, though, because uh, obesity is affecting a lot of uh, children here in America. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people want to know if popular weight loss drugs or weight loss surgery can help. Uh, what do you think? Well, uh, it depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. So the United States Preventive Service Task Force just came out with some draft guidelines. And basically they said, look, any child over the age of six who's in the 95th percentile of weight, that's compared to uh, the kids their age and sex, you need to aggressively work on getting their weight down because as you know Terrence long-term effects of obesity are high blood pressure diabetes stroke heart attack all, all of that mess you want to invest early in your health 401k so you get these kids uh, and what they're recommending is the, uh, a, a very stringent diet and exercise program mm -hmm. now the American Academy of Pediatrics said, look, if they're over 12 and, and everything else has failed, then you might want to consider one of these medications or even surgery. Now, as a parent, uh, I, would, I would try everything possible uh, short of drugs and surgery. But look, you, you, you got to get the job done mm -hmm. because we know for a fact the consequences are long term and can be devastating and shorten the lives of our children. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you put them on a nutritional plan, it's probably best that you join them as well so you can lead by example. Got to ask you about something else uh, trending right now. A study that said positive personality traits can help protect against dementia. So I have to ask, do negative personality traits have an opposite effect? So, Terrence, have you ever run into people that are so toxic that you want to run to the exit like you want to leave fast mm -hmm. you know who i'm talking about there are people that you just right yep. or or people that i, I call uh, uh, some experts call them type d you know how you have type a and type b uh -huh. they're type d they're distressed i call them they're energy the people vampires. that if you're on the highway and 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 you cut them off by accident that they're they're not happy with you at all <laughs> and and so the study shows that if you redu if if you're more open you're more gregarious you have a positive outlook you're going to be much less likely to develop dementia as opposed to those other types who are negative and really uh, kind of have that toxic personality they're the ones that have to worry down the road about getting more memory loss and dementia. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, Dr. Mike, you are far from uh, type D. Happy holidays to you as well. Enjoy the time with your family. Uh, and just in case you still got shopping to do, just remember I wear a large T-shirt and my favorite color is red, okay? Listen, I'm stopping over. Come I'm going to show up. I, I <laughs> Come on through. I'm not cooking, so yeah, it'll be hey, safe. Don't. Yeah, don't kid. Listen, I'm, one of these days I'm going to be in Chicago. I'm going to find you and we're going to hang out. Swing through, you my and man. Me. Swing through. Mano a mano. Always good to see you. Yes, sir. All right, it's 830 right now.